Can't Hurt Me is a book written by David Goggins, a former Navy SEAL and ultra-endurance athlete. The audiobook version of the book is narrated by the author himself, David Goggins, and is approximately 13 hours and 37 minutes long. It was released on 4th December 2018. The book, Can't Hurt Me, is a memoir that details David Goggins' extraordinary journey from a troubled childhood to becoming one of the toughest men on the planet. It provides a raw and honest account of his life, highlighting his struggles with poverty, racism, obesity, and abusive relationships. David Goggins shares his personal experiences and the lessons he learned along the way, emphasizing the importance of mental toughness and resilience. He challenges readers to push beyond their limits, embrace discomfort, and develop an indomitable mindset. In the audiobook version, Goggins' narration adds an extra layer of authenticity and intensity to the story. He recounts his experiences with passion and emotion, providing additional insights and reflections not found in the written text throughout the book. Goggins intertwines his personal story with practical advice and techniques for overcoming adversity and achieving personal growth. He shares strategies for mental strength, goal-setting, self-discipline, and confronting fear. Can't Hurt Me is a powerful and inspiring book that resonates with readers and listeners alike encouraging them to break through their self-imposed limitations and strive for greatness. The audiobook format allows listeners to immerse themselves in Goggins' story and benefit from his motivational insights in an engaging and accessible way, certainly. Here is an expanded breakdown of each chapter in Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Chapter 1. The Cookie Jar in the opening chapter of Can't Hurt Me, titled The Cookie Jar, David Goggins introduces the concept of drawing strength from past accomplishments and using them as motivation to overcome challenges. He begins by reflecting on his difficult childhood. Growing up in an abusive environment with his father, Goggins shares that his father was a harsh disciplinarian who instilled fear and resentment in him. However, despite the difficult circumstances, he learned valuable lessons during this time that would shape his future mindset. Goggins developed resilience and determination as he navigated through the hardships, planting the seeds for his remarkable transformation. The metaphor of the cookie jar is introduced as a source of inspiration and strength. Goggins explains that the cookie jar is a mental reservoir where he stores memories of past accomplishments, moments of triumph, and instances where he overcame adversity. When faced with challenges in the present, he opens this cookie jar and draws upon those memories to remind himself of his capabilities and to find the courage to push through difficult times by sharing his personal experiences Goggins highlights the power of resilience and the importance of using past achievements as fuel for personal growth. He emphasizes that despite the hardships one may face, it is possible to overcome them by drawing upon inner strength and past successes. Through the narrative in this chapter, Goggins sets the stage for the subsequent chapters establishing the mindset of resilience and the idea that the past can be a source of strength. The concept of the cookie jar serves as a recurring theme throughout the book, reminding readers of their own potential to overcome challenges and achieve greatness. Chapter 2 – The Elephant in the Room In Chapter 2, The Elephant in the Room, David Goggins delves into his struggles with obesity and the transformative journey he undertook to overcome it. He opens up about his unhealthy lifestyle, which had led him to weigh nearly 300 pounds and left him feeling trapped in his own body. Goggins recounts a pivotal moment in his life when he saw a television program about the rigorous training required to become a Navy SEAL. This revelation sparked a desire within him to join the military and led to a profound realization he needed to lose weight in order to qualify. 
This realization became the catalyst for his transformation. He describes the arduous process he went through to shed the excess weight. Goggins shares how he adopted an intense physical training regimen, incorporating long-distance running, weightlifting, and strict dietary changes. It was a grueling journey, marked by countless setbacks and moments of self-doubt. However, Goggins' unwavering determination and refusal to accept failure propelled him forward. Through this chapter, Goggins highlights the power of personal accountability and the need to take ownership of one's failures and shortcomings. He demonstrates that true transformation comes from facing the uncomfortable truths about oneself and taking decisive action to change. Goggins' story serves as an inspiration to readers showing that regardless of the magnitude of one's struggles, it is possible to overcome them through relentless effort, discipline, and self-belief. His journey from obesity to becoming a Navy SEAL candidate showcases the transformative power of pushing beyond one's limits and taking control of one's destiny by sharing his personal battle with weight and the triumph that followed. Goggins encourages readers to confront their own elephants in the room, the obstacles and challenges that hold them back, and take the necessary steps to overcome them. It reinforces the notion that change is possible, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, with the right mindset and unwavering determination. Chapter 3 The 40% Rule In Chapter 3 Titled The 40% Rule, David Goggins introduces a powerful concept that challenges the limits of human potential. He begins by explaining that most people operate well below their true capabilities, often settling for mediocrity and never pushing themselves to their full potential. Goggins shares his experiences from Navy SEAL training where he witnessed firsthand the incredible physical and mental resilience of his fellow candidates. He realized that the human body and mind poses untapped reserves of energy and strength, far beyond what most people believe they are capable of. The 40% rule is revealed. Goggins suggests that when people feel like they have reached their limit and can't go any further, they are actually only operating at around 40% of their true capacity. He argues that by embracing discomfort, pushing through self-imposed limitations and tapping into that remaining 60%, individuals can achieve extraordinary feats. The chapter is filled with vivid examples from Goggin's own experiences where he pushed his body to its limits during ultra-endurance races and grueling training exercises. He demonstrates how the mind plays a crucial role in pushing beyond perceived limitations and unlocking hidden reserves of strength. By introducing the 40% rule, Goggins challenges readers to reconsider their own self-imposed limits and embrace discomfort as a pathway to growth. He emphasizes the importance of mental toughness, perseverance, and a refusal to settle for anything less than one's best. Throughout the chapter, Goggins provides practical insights and strategies for embracing the 40% rule in everyday life. He encourages readers to step out of their comfort zones, confront their fears, and push themselves beyond what they believe is possible. By doing so, he suggests, Individuals can tap into their true potential and achieve remarkable results in various aspects of life. The 40% rule serves as a powerful reminder that our limits are often self-imposed and that true growth and success lie beyond what we think we are capable of. It challenges readers to re-evaluate their own mindset, redefine their limits and push themselves to new heights of achievement. Chapter 4 – The Accountability Mirror Chapter 4 – The Accountability Mirror focuses on the importance of self-reflection and taking ownership of one's actions and shortcomings. David Goggins introduces the concept of the accountability mirror, 
which serves as a metaphorical reflection of oneself and a tool for personal growth, Goggins shares his own experience with the accountability mirror, recounting a moment when he stood in front of a mirror and faced his own insecurities, doubts, and fears. He realized that he had been running away from his true potential and was not living up to his own expectations. This introspective moment became a turning point in his life. The accountability mirror represents the act of looking at oneself honestly, without any pretense or excuses. It is about taking a hard look at one's strengths, weaknesses, and areas in need of improvement. Goggins emphasizes that true transformation begins with acknowledging one's shortcomings and being brutally honest with oneself Throughout the chapter, Goggins provides examples of how he used the accountability mirror as a tool for self-improvement. He discusses how he identified his weaknesses, such as procrastination, and made a conscious effort to address them. By holding himself accountable and taking ownership of his actions, he was able to make significant changes and move closer to his goals. Goggins encourages readers to use the accountability mirror in their own lives. He emphasizes that it requires a willingness to face uncomfortable truths, confront self-deception, and take responsibility for one's choices. By doing so, Individuals can break free from self-imposed limitations and propel themselves towards personal growth and success. The chapter concludes with practical advice on how to use the accountability mirror effectively. Goggins suggests setting goals, tracking progress, and regularly reassessing one's actions and mindset. By making the accountability mirror a regular practice, Individuals can continually strive for improvement and stay true to their highest potential. The accountability mirror serves as a powerful reminder that personal growth begins with self-reflection and taking ownership of one's life. It encourages readers to confront their own limitations, face their fears, and actively work towards becoming the best version of themselves. In Chapter 5, titled The Cookie Jar, Part 2, David Goggins further explores the concept of the cookie jar as a source of inspiration and strength. He expands upon the idea introduced in the first chapter, emphasizing the importance of drawing upon past accomplishments and overcoming challenges to fuel present-day resilience. Goggins shares additional personal stories and experiences from his life that reinforce the power of the cookie jar. He recounts moments of triumph and perseverance, highlighting instances where he defeated the odds and pushed through seemingly insurmountable obstacles. By revisiting these memories, he reinforces the message that individuals have within them a wellspring of strength and resilience to overcome any challenge they face. The chapter delves into the significance of celebrating past victories and using them as reminders of one's capabilities. Goggins emphasizes that the cookie jar is not just about reminiscing, but rather a strategic tool to overcome self-doubt and summon the courage to take on new challenges. By reflecting on past successes, Individuals can tap into their reservoir of inner strength and believe in their ability to conquer future obstacles. Through personal anecdotes and motivational insights, Goggins inspires readers to cultivate their own cookie jars. He encourages them to reflect upon their own achievements, no matter how small, and store them as sources of inspiration. Goggins emphasizes that these memories serve as a reminder of what one is truly capable of and can be drawn upon during times of adversity. The Cookie Jar, Part 2, reinforces the idea that the human spirit is resilient and capable of remarkable feats. By intentionally creating and accessing their own cookie jars, readers can build a mindset of unwavering determination and use it to face challenges head-on. 
Goggins reminds readers that they have the power to define their own narrative and overcome any obstacle that comes their way. The chapter concludes by urging readers to take the time to reflect upon their own accomplishments, no matter how big or small, and recognize the strength they have within. By doing so, they can tap into their personal cookie jars and unlock their limitless potential. In Chapter 6, Callous Mind, David Goggins explores the concept of mental resilience and the importance of developing a strong and resilient mindset. He introduces the idea that just as physical calluses are formed through repeated friction, mental calluses can be built through exposure to adversity and hardship. Goggins shares personal stories from his rigorous training as a Navy SEAL and ultra endurance athlete highlighting moments when he had to push through immense physical and mental pain. He emphasizes that the key to developing a calloused mind is to embrace discomfort and lean into the challenges that come one's way. The chapter delves into the notion that the mind, like the body, can adapt and become stronger when subjected to difficult circumstances. Goggins explains that by intentionally seeking out challenges and pushing beyond one's comfort zone, individuals can cultivate mental resilience and develop a mindset that thrives in adversity. Goggins provides practical strategies for building a calloused mind, such as setting audacious goals, embracing failure as a learning opportunity, and reframing negative thoughts into positive affirmations. He also emphasizes the importance of discipline, perseverance, and a relentless pursuit of self-improvement. Through his own experiences and the stories of others, Goggins illustrates that mental resilience is not innate but can be cultivated through deliberate practice and a willingness to confront and overcome hardships. He encourages readers to view obstacles as opportunities for growth and to reframe their mindset around discomfort and adversity. The chapter concludes with a reminder that developing a calloused mind is an ongoing process that requires consistent effort and dedication. Goggins urges readers to push themselves beyond their perceived limits and to embrace the challenges that come their way. By doing so, they can develop an unbreakable mindset that can withstand any obstacle or setback. Calloused mind serves as a powerful reminder that mental resilience is a choice and can be developed through deliberate action. Goggins inspires readers to step outside of their comfort zones, embrace discomfort, and actively seek out challenges to build a mindset that is unyielding and unstoppable. In Chapter 7, titled The 10,000-Hour Rule, David Goggins explores the concept of deliberate practice and the dedication required to achieve mastery in any endeavor. He delves into the idea that true expertise and greatness are the result of investing a significant amount of focused and intentional effort. Goggins begins by discussing his own journey towards becoming a Navy SEAL and the countless hours of training and preparation that he undertook. He emphasizes that success is not simply a product of natural talent but rather the outcome of consistent and purposeful practice over an extended period of time. Drawing inspiration from the research of psychologist Anders Ericsson, Goggins introduces the concept of the 10. 000R rule. This rule suggests that to become a true master in any field, it takes approximately 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. He encourages readers to embrace the long and challenging process of skill development, understanding that greatness requires sustained commitment and perseverance. Throughout the chapter, Goggins shares anecdotes and stories of individuals who have dedicated themselves to their crafts, highlighting the sacrifices and discipline they exhibited along the way. He emphasizes the importance of setting goals, developing a focused training regimen, and seeking continuous improvement. Goggins also acknowledges that the path to mastery is filled with obstacles, setbacks, and moments of doubt. However, 
He urges readers to stay resilient and maintain a growth mindset. He emphasizes that setbacks are not failures but rather opportunities for learning and growth by embracing the 10,000 hour rule and committing to deliberate practice individuals can unlock their true potential and achieve extraordinary results Goggins reminds readers that greatness is not reserved for a select few but is attainable for anyone willing to put in the necessary effort and dedication The chapter concludes with a call to action encouraging readers to evaluate their own goals and commit to the process of deliberate practice. Goggins emphasizes that success is not an overnight phenomenon but the result of consistent and focused effort over time. The 10,000 hour rule serves as a powerful reminder that achieving mastery in any field requires dedication, perseverance, and a willingness to put in the necessary hours of deliberate practice. Goggins inspires readers to embrace the journey of skill development, understanding that greatness is within reach for those who are willing to put in the work. In chapter 8, Failure is a bigger success, David Goggins explores the transformative power of failure and the valuable lessons that can be learned from setbacks and adversity. He challenges the conventional notion of failure as something to be avoided and reframes it as an essential stepping stone on the path to success. Goggins shares personal stories from his own life where he encountered failures and experienced moments of self-doubt. He discusses instances where he fell short of his goals, faced rejection, and encountered obstacles that seemed insurmountable. However, instead of allowing these failures to define him, he used them as fuel for growth and self-improvement. The chapter delves into the idea that failure provides valuable opportunities for learning, self-reflection, and course correction. Goggins emphasizes that setbacks are not indicative of one's worth or potential, but rather necessary experiences that shape character and resilience. He encourages readers to embrace failure as a natural part of the journey towards success. Goggins emphasizes the importance of resilience, perseverance, and a mindset that views failure as an opportunity to learn, adapt, and come back stronger. Throughout the chapter, Goggins shares strategies for reframing failure and using it as a catalyst for growth. He encourages readers to analyze their failures objectively. identify areas for improvement and develop a plan for moving forward he emphasizes the importance of perseverance and not allowing setbacks to define one's identity or limit future possibilities goggins also highlights the power of self belief and the ability to bounce back from failure he shares personal stories of individuals who encountered numerous rejections and failures but persisted with unwavering determination ultimately achieving extraordinary success the chapter concludes with a powerful message that failure is not the end but a stepping stone towards greatness goggins inspires readers to view failure as an opportunity to refine their goals strengthen their resolve and push beyond their perceived limits failure is a bigger success serves as a reminder that setbacks and failures are not indicators of ultimate defeat but rather crucial moments for growth and self discovery goggins encourages readers to embrace failure as a teacher and to approach challenges with resilience knowing that true success often arises from the lessons learned through failure chapter 9 Uncommon among the uncommon, David Goggins explores the idea of pushing beyond mediocrity and embracing an exceptional mindset. He emphasizes the importance of standing out from the crowd, going above and beyond societal norms, and striving for greatness in all areas of life. Goggins shares his own experiences of rising above mediocrity. starting from his journey as an overweight individual to becoming an elite navy seal and ultra endurance athlete he challenges readers to question their own conformity 
and to break free from the limitations that society often imposes, the chapter delves into the concept of being uncommon among the uncommon, which means rising above even the exceptional and refusing to settle for average. Goggins highlights that true greatness is achieved by consistently pushing beyond one's comfort zone and embracing the uncomfortable and challenging path. He encourages readers to adopt a mindset of continuous improvement and to actively seek out opportunities to grow and evolve. Goggins emphasizes the importance of setting audacious goals, surrounding oneself with like-minded individuals, and embracing the discomfort that comes with pursuing excellence. Throughout the chapter, Goggins provides practical advice on how to cultivate an uncommon mindset. He shares personal anecdotes and stories of individuals who have achieved remarkable success by defying societal expectations and embracing their uniqueness. Goggins challenges readers to examine their own lives and identify areas where they can push beyond their limits and strive for uncommon greatness. He inspires them to develop a deep sense of purpose, to pursue their passions relentlessly, and to embrace the challenges and sacrifices that come with standing out from the crowd. The chapter concludes with a call to action, urging readers to reject mediocrity and commit to being uncommon among the uncommon. Goggins emphasizes that true fulfillment and satisfaction come from living a life that aligns with one's deepest values and aspirations, even if it means going against the grain, uncommon among the uncommon serves as a powerful reminder that greatness is not achieved by following the status quo but by daring to be different and pursuing one's own extraordinary path. Goggins inspires readers to break free from societal expectations, tap into their unique potential, and strive for excellence in all areas of life. In Chapter 10, titled The 40% Rule, David Goggins introduces a mindset shift that can unlock hidden reserves of strength and determination. He explores the idea that when individuals think they have reached their physical or mental limits, they have actually only tapped into approximately 40% of their true potential. Goggins shares personal stories and examples from his own life, where he pushed beyond his perceived limits to achieve remarkable feats of endurance and mental fortitude. He emphasizes that the human body and mind are capable of far more than most people believe. The chapter delves into the concept of embracing discomfort and embracing the challenges that come with pushing beyond one's comfort zone. Goggins explains that by leaning into the discomfort and pushing through the self-imposed limitations, individuals can tap into the remaining 60% of their potential. He provides practical strategies for implementing the 40% rule in daily life. Goggins encourages readers to train their minds to become comfortable with discomfort, to push through moments of doubt and pain, and to develop mental resilience through consistent practice. Goggins also addresses the fear of failure and the importance of embracing risk and uncertainty. He emphasizes that growth and personal transformation occur when individuals are willing to take calculated risks and step into the unknown. Throughout the chapter, Goggins shares stories of individuals who have applied the 40% rule to achieve extraordinary success in various fields. He highlights the importance of perseverance, discipline, and a mindset that continually seeks to push beyond perceived limits. The chapter concludes with a powerful message that individuals have within them a reservoir of untapped potential. Goggins inspires readers to embrace the 40% rule, to challenge their self-imposed limitations, and to unlock the hidden reserves of strength and determination that lie within. The 40% rule serves as a reminder that individuals are capable of far more than they often believe. Goggins encourages readers to reframe their mindset, embrace discomfort, and push beyond their perceived limits. By tapping into the remaining 60% of their potential, 
individuals can achieve extraordinary results and surpass their own expectations. In Chapter 11, Living with Purpose, David Goggins explores the importance of finding a sense of meaning and purpose in life. He emphasizes that true fulfillment and satisfaction come from aligning one's actions and goals with their deepest values and aspirations. Goggins shares personal anecdotes and stories from his own journey of self-discovery and transformation. He discusses moments in his life where he felt a lack of purpose and how he was able to shift his mindset to find clarity and direction. The chapter delves into the process of self-reflection and introspection. Goggins encourages readers to examine their own lives and ask themselves fundamental questions about what truly matters to them and what they want to achieve. He emphasizes the importance of setting meaningful goals that align with one's values and passions. Goggins encourages readers to define their own version of success and to create a roadmap for achieving it. Throughout the chapter, Goggins provides practical strategies for discovering and living with purpose. He encourages readers to embrace their unique strengths and talents, to overcome self-doubt and fear, and to take bold actions towards their goals. Goggins also highlights the significance of service and giving back to others. He discusses the transformative power of helping others and how it can contribute to a sense of purpose and fulfillment. The chapter concludes with a call to action, urging readers to embark on a journey of self-discovery and to live a life that is driven by purpose. Goggins emphasizes that finding and living with purpose is an ongoing process requiring self-reflection, adaptability, and a commitment to growth. Living with Purpose serves as a guide for readers to uncover their deepest values, define their own version of success, and pursue a life that is meaningful and fulfilling. Goggins inspires readers to embrace their unique path, make a positive impact, and live with a sense of purpose that extends. In Chapter 12, The Accountability Mirror, David Goggins explores the concept of taking full responsibility for one's actions, choices, and outcomes. He introduces the idea that true transformation and personal growth begin by looking within and holding oneself accountable. Goggins shares personal stories and experiences where he faced the truth about his own shortcomings and made a conscious decision to take ownership of his life. He emphasizes the power of self-reflection and confronting the reality of one's strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement. The chapter delves into the notion of the accountability mirror, which is a metaphorical reflection of oneself that holds up a mirror to personal responsibility. Goggins encourages readers to face their own reflection honestly and without judgment, acknowledging their mistakes, weaknesses, and areas where they can grow, he emphasizes that true change and progress occur when individuals take ownership of their lives and stop making excuses or blaming external factors. Goggins encourages readers to adopt a mindset of self-discipline and integrity, where they commit to making positive changes and holding themselves accountable for their actions throughout the chapter. Goggins provides practical strategies for utilizing the accountability mirror in daily life. He encourages readers to set clear goals, develop a system of self-assessment, and establish a support network that holds them accountable to their commitments. Goggins also highlights the importance of self-talk and the narratives individuals tell themselves. He urges readers to cultivate a positive, and empowering internal dialogue, using affirmations and self-motivation to reinforce their commitment to personal growth and accountability. The chapter concludes with a powerful message that true transformation and lasting change can only occur when individuals look within, take ownership of their lives, and hold themselves accountable. Goggins inspires readers to embrace the power of the accountability mirror as a tool for self-reflection, growth, 
and personal development, the accountability mirror serves as a reminder that individuals have the power to shape their own lives and that personal growth begins with self-awareness and accountability. Goggins encourages readers to embrace the truth about themselves, make necessary changes, and take responsibility for creating the life they desire. In Chapter 13, titled Master Your Mind, David Goggins delves into the power of the mind and the importance of developing mental resilience and strength. He explores the concept that true transformation begins by conquering the limitations and negative beliefs that exist within one's own mind. Goggins shares personal anecdotes and stories of his own battles with self-doubt, fear, and negative thought patterns. He discusses how he overcame these challenges by reprogramming his mind and cultivating a mindset of unwavering determination and positivity. The chapter delves into the idea that the mind can be trained and conditioned just like the body. Goggins introduces techniques for mastering the mind, such as visualization, positive self-talk, and mindfulness practices. He emphasizes the importance of developing mental discipline and creating a mental fortress that can withstand the pressures and obstacles of life. Throughout the chapter, Goggins provides practical strategies for strengthening the mind. He encourages readers to challenge their self-limiting beliefs, confront their fears, and embrace discomfort as a means of personal growth. He also highlights the significance of resilience and the ability to bounce back from setbacks and failures. Goggins shares insights from experts in psychology and personal development, offering a comprehensive understanding of the mind-body connection and the role of mindset in achieving success. He explores topics such as emotional intelligence, self-awareness, and the power of visualization in creating a positive mental state. The chapter concludes with a call to action, urging readers to take control of their thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes. Goggins inspires readers to master their minds, understanding that true strength and resilience come from within. Master Your Mind serves as a guide for readers to cultivate mental resilience, develop a positive mindset and overcome the limitations that exist within their own thoughts. In Chapter 14, Becoming Unbreakable, David Goggins explores the concept of developing an unbreakable spirit and mindset. He delves into the importance of resilience, perseverance, and embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. Goggins begins by sharing personal stories of adversity and the lessons he learned from them. He discusses how his experiences in Navy SEAL training, ultra-endurance races, and personal hardships shaped his mentality and instilled in him an unbreakable spirit. The chapter delves into the idea that adversity is not something to be avoided or feared, but rather an essential part of personal growth. Goggins encourages readers to embrace challenges as opportunities to develop strength, character, and mental fortitude, he emphasizes that becoming unbreakable requires individuals to push beyond their comfort zones, confront their fears, and persist in the face of setbacks and obstacles. Goggins provides practical strategies for developing resilience, such as setting audacious goals, developing a growth mindset, and embracing discomfort as a catalyst for growth. Throughout the chapter, Goggins shares stories of individuals who have overcome immense challenges and achieved extraordinary feats by cultivating an unbreakable mindset. He highlights the power of perseverance, determination, and unwavering belief in oneself. Goggins also explores the role of self-discipline in becoming unbreakable. He discusses the importance of consistently taking action, staying committed to one's goals, and developing habits that support personal growth and success. The chapter concludes with a call to action, urging readers to embrace the mindset of becoming unbreakable. Goggins inspires readers to view challenges as opportunities for growth, 
to push beyond their perceived limits and to develop an unyielding spirit that can withstand any adversity. Becoming unbreakable serves as a guide for readers to cultivate resilience, perseverance, and mental strength. Goggins motivates readers to adopt a mindset that sees challenges as stepping stones to greatness and to become unbreakable in the pursuit of their goals and aspirations. In Chapter 15, Taking Souls, David Goggins explores the concept of pushing beyond personal limits and surpassing the achievements of others. He introduces the idea of taking souls as a metaphor for outperforming and surpassing the competition, whether in sports, career, or personal endeavors, Goggins begins by discussing his own experiences of pushing himself to the limit and surpassing what others thought was possible. He shares stories of his ultra-endurance races and military training, where he consistently aimed to outperform his peers and set new records. The chapter delves into the mindset and strategies required to take souls. Goggins emphasizes the importance of relentless preparation, unwavering commitment, and the willingness to push through pain and discomfort in order to achieve exceptional results. He encourages readers to embrace competition and use it as a driving force for personal growth and excellence. Goggins highlights the importance of setting ambitious goals, developing a laser-like focus, and relentlessly pursuing greatness Throughout the chapter, Goggins provides practical strategies for taking souls. He discusses the significance of mental toughness, visualization techniques, and deliberate practice in surpassing the achievements of others. He also explores the role of consistency, discipline, and a growth mindset in maintaining a competitive edge. Goggins shares stories of individuals who have exemplified the spirit of taking souls in various fields, highlighting their dedication, resilience, and unwavering pursuit of excellence. He emphasizes that by aiming to outperform others, individuals can tap into their own untapped potential and achieve remarkable feats. The chapter concludes with a reminder that taking souls is not about diminishing others or seeking validation from external sources. Instead, it is about pushing oneself to the limit, continually raising the bar and surpassing one's own expectations. Taking souls serves as a guide for readers to embrace competition, set ambitious goals and push beyond personal limits. Goggins motivates readers to adopt a mindset of relentless pursuit to outperform their own previous achievements and to strive for greatness in all aspects of life. In Chapter 16, The Process, David Goggins explores the importance of embracing the journey and focusing on the process rather than solely fixating on the end result. He emphasizes that true growth and fulfillment come from the daily commitment to excellence and the relentless pursuit of improvement. Goggins begins by sharing personal stories of his own transformation and the challenges he faced along the way. He discusses how shifting his mindset from outcome-focused to process-focused allowed him to make consistent progress and maintain a sense of fulfillment throughout his journey. The chapter delves into the idea that the process is where the real growth happens. Goggins emphasizes that success is not an overnight achievement but rather the result of continuous effort, learning, and refinement. He encourages readers to embrace the daily grind and find joy in the pursuit of their goals. He emphasizes the significance of setting actionable goals, developing a plan, and consistently showing up to put in the work. Goggins provides practical strategies for staying focused on the process, such as creating daily habits, tracking progress, and celebrating small victories along the way throughout the chapter. Goggins shares stories of individuals who have achieved extraordinary success by committing to the process. He highlights the importance of perseverance, resilience, and a mindset that values progress over perfection. Goggins also explores the role of self-reflection and course correction in the process. 
He encourages readers to regularly assess their progress, identify areas for improvement, and make necessary adjustments to stay on track towards their goals. The chapter concludes with a reminder that the process is an ongoing journey and true fulfillment comes from embracing it wholeheartedly. Goggins inspires readers to find purpose and joy in the daily pursuit of excellence and to trust in the process, knowing that it will ultimately lead to growth. Conclusion In his book Can't Hurt Me, David Goggins takes readers on a transformative journey of self-discovery, resilience, and personal growth. Through his remarkable life story and powerful insights, Goggins teaches us that we all have the power to overcome our limitations, push beyond our perceived boundaries, and unlock our true potential. Goggins' unwavering determination, mental toughness, and relentless pursuit of excellence serve as an inspiration for anyone striving to achieve greatness in their own lives. He reminds us that success is not a matter of talent or circumstance, but rather a product of our mindset, discipline, and willingness to embrace discomfort by embracing the unbreakable mindset. We can conquer our fears, overcome adversity, and achieve extraordinary results. Goggins encourages us to develop mental resilience, cultivate a growth mindset, and commit to the daily process of self-improvement. Through his stories and practical strategies, he shows us that we have the ability to rewrite our own narratives and rewrite our limitations. So, whether you're an athlete, a student, an entrepreneur, or anyone seeking personal transformation, Goggins' teachings are a powerful reminder that we can rise above any challenge, push beyond our perceived limits, and become the best version of ourselves. Take the lessons from Can't Hurt Me and apply them to your own life. Embrace the discomfort. Set audacious goals and commit to the relentless pursuit of your dreams. With an unbreakable mindset, there are no limits to what you can achieve, so join us on this journey of self-discovery, resilience, and personal growth. Let's embrace the unbreakable mindset and create a life of extraordinary achievements. Remember, you can't hurt me, and together, we can't be stopped. Thanks for listing our audiobook. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get more updates.